Another feature on Cornford amplifiers is anything that makes a sound, so this is a, either a combo like this or a speaker cabinet that you're going to see later on, is made from solid pine. So no plywood, no MDF, um, no terrible cardboard like you get on some really cheap stuff, but completely solid pine. And I think, again, Cornford have a really interesting take on this. You know, they, they look at guitars like, you know, Les Pauls and Strats, and everybody concedes that using solid wood is absolutely the best way to get um, the most resonant tone. It rings accurately like a bell, doesn't it? Yeah. If you made a bell from one piece of material, it would ring. Yeah. And if you make it from many pieces of material, they yeah. fight again, they inhibit each other better. Yeah. And so, so they take the view uh, that, that using solid woods on their cabinets is really important. And, and Cornford will tell you, and if you ever get the chance to do this, take your head, whether you've got a, you know, a boogie head or a PD head or a Marshall head or whatever, and try it through a Cornford cabinet. Because uh, even if you can't afford the amplifier, maybe you can afford the cabinet, and it does make a big difference to the tone. One of the advantages Cornford have by pricing all of their amplifiers as kind of fairly top-end amplifiers is they're not they're not interested in any kind of manufacturing technique that saves two pounds or three pounds or five pounds. Yeah. Um, companies that are making thousands of amplifiers a year will will look to save those two pounds and three pounds because after you've made ten thousand amplifiers, that saving is a massive saving. Cornford don't work like that at all. So the way the the baffle is designed into the cabinet, the way the speaker's mounted to the baffle, the way the chassis is spot welded, uh, the components they choose, everything is done to make the amp sound the best it can sound. Some people might not know what a baffle is, do you want to briefly tell yeah. them what a baffle is? Uh, the baffle is the piece of wood that the speaker is mounted to and uh, depending on whether you front mount the speaker or you rear mount the speaker and the way in which the speaker is um, Cut, attached into the cabinet will all affect the tone. Basically, um, sorry to cut in there. Basically, if you rear mount a speaker, you get a very directional uh, feel of sound. Mm. Um, and if you front mount the speaker, you get more of a widespread of the audio. It is a, believe it or not, if I can do this in 10 seconds, if you imagine the baffle on an amplifier is, say, half an inch thick, uh, and you rear mount the speaker, what happens is you create like a half inch deep tunnel. Like a trumpet. Yeah, for yeah. the sound to go through. So actually, as soon as the sound comes out the speaker, it's instantly sort of channeled. confined and channeled by this, uh, this tunnel. If you front mount the speaker, which in real terms costs a little bit more, uh, a few pounds more, because it takes a little bit longer then to, to um, assemble the cabinet, um, you don't get that tunnel effect. So it's much wider sort of sound. Yeah. And for a 112, that's a really important thing. Definitely. Because if you've ever gigged with the 112, it's a nightmare if you've got a back-mounted speaker. Your drummer can't hear you unless you've got good floor monitoring, yeah. which you is very hear, rare. You can't hear and yourself. Yeah, more importantly, you can't hear yourself. So you, this is you really stand important. off to the side here yeah. and actually can't hear them what's yeah. coming out. 